this is part two applied visual design so uh, today we'll be learning about tertiary colors so computer monitors devices create different colors by combining rgb um, mixing two primary colors create secondary color this 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 blah 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 these secondary colors happen to be the complement to the primary color not used in their creation and okay tertiary colors are the result of combining a primary color uh, for example rgb this adds six more colors to simple color will follow total of 12 all right there are various methods of selecting different colors that result in harmonious combination in design one example that can use tertiary colors is called the split complementary color scheme this scheme starts with a base color then pairs it with uh, that are adjacent to its complement the three colors provide strong visual contrast in design but are more subtle uh, than using two complementary designs here are the three colors using the split complementary scheme orange cyan respect change the background color property of uh, classes to the respective color make sure you have hex and not the color names okay orange one is this one and cyan is um, this one raspberry is this one so yeah Make sure you use the hex codes here. Yeah? I use the hex codes. Running test. Do, do, do. Come on, man. Hurry up. All right. Okay, day by day, it's getting slower. <laughs> Adjust the color of various elements to complementary colors. Complementary colors challenge showed that opposite colors on the color wheel can make each other appear more vibrant than when placed side by side. However, the strong visual contrast can be jarring if it's overs uh, on left side and can sometimes make is usually dominant and the complementary is used to bring visual attention to certain content on the page. This page will use a shade of teal as the dominant color and it's orange complement to visually highlight the sign up button change the background color of the of both the header and footer from black to teal color of header and footer background color all right um where is the footer then change the h2 text color to teal as well okay uh, to finally change the background color of the button to the orange color of button background color of button to the, uh, the orange color what was the orange color scored all right okay uh, This one is teal is dominant color. All right, let's go to next one. Adjust the hue of a color. Okay. Honestly, I'm not getting a lot from um, this color thing <laughs> because I'm I'm not much into graphics design. Maybe that's why. Adjust the hue of a color. Colors have several characteristics including hue, saturation, and lightness. CSS3 introduced the HSL property as an alternative way to pick a color by directly stating these characteristics. Uh -huh. CSS3. Okay. Who is what people generally think of a, as color? If you picture a spectrum of color starting with red on the left, Moving through green in the middle and blue on the right, the hue is where a color fits along this line. In HSL, hue uses a color wheel concept instead of spectrum, where the angle of the color on the circle is given as a value between 0 to 6, 360. Saturation. Where the angle of color on circle is given as a value for saturation is amount of gray in a color a fully saturated color has no gray in it okay 
a minimalist saturated color is mostly almost completely gray this is given as the percentage of lightness and amount of white or black in a color a percentage is given ranging from 0 to 100 where 50 percent normal there are a few examples of using hsl with fully saturated normal lightness colors red first one is hue spectrum of light going through green in the middle um, color starting with red on the left and moving through green in the middle and blue on the right rgb the hue is where a color fits along this line okay it's zero saturation is 100 percent and lightness is 50 percent green cyan blue magenta change the background color of a div element based on the color names using hsl all three should have full saturation and normal lightness green cyan blue green have full lightness and cyan is this one and blue is this one okay now let's run the it seems that i don't care a lot of uh, a lot about these sections i mean about the colors because usually in uh, web development uh, this is something that graphic designer do i mean about the color schemes and all of the, that stuff but like the these terms hsl and how it's working i mean rgb color rgba so that is something um, we should know about so that is why i'm moving fast on this uh, but not um, talking too much about the color schemes okay adjust the tone of a color the hsl option in css also makes it easy to adjust the tone of color mixing white with a pure hue creates a tint of that color s and o stands for saturation and lightness hue saturation lightness respectively the saturation percent changes the amount of gray and the lightness percent determines how much white or black is in the color this is useful when you have a base hue you like but need different variations of it all elements have a default background color of transparent our nav element currently appears to have a cyan background because the element behind a it has a background color set to cyan add a background color to nav element so it uses the same cyan hue it has 80 percent saturation and 25 percent lightness values to change its tone and shade okay background color is hsl so cyan is cyan is this one okay so 180 we need a saturation of 80 percent and 25 percent of lightness right okay so now I have, I have a different color now move to next one create a gradual css line linear gradient applying a color on html is not limited to one flat hue css provides the ability to use color transitions otherwise known as gradients on elements this is accessed through the background property linear gradient function here is the general syntax so gradient is i believe 
a combination of um, different colors yeah it is gradient direction the first argument specifies the direction for which this uh, starts it can be as a degree where 90 degree makes a horizontal gradient from left to right and 45 makes a diagonal from bottom left the following arguments specify the order of colors using okay 90 red red rgb all right use a uh, and change the colors from this to this so first of all what we are talking about background color so we'll specify this and linear gradient should be um, 35 degree and color should be hash cc and hash ff cc why it's not showing up here uh, okay not this is not a background color this is just a background and second thing is gradient linear first argument is this one second one. Okay, maybe there is nothing inside, that is why. No. Delivery should have a linear current background with the specified direction and colors. Okay, so it's not working. Let's see if the test is successful or not. For the div elements background and set it from a direction of 35 degree to change the color from this to this uh, a div element should have a linear gradient background it's a linear gradient why it's not working then everything looks fine to me okay this color is not right oh god no honestly this looks very good to me um i mean it's pure css and it looks like uh, some graphic piece graphic design piece okay linear gradients are very cool man Awesome. Let's go to next one, shall we? Use a CSS linear gradient to create a script element. Okay. Uh, um, the repeating repeating linear gradient function is very similar to linear with the major difference that it repeats the specified gradient pattern the repeating linear gradient accepts a variety of colors but for simplicity we will work with an angle value angle value and color stop values in this challenge the angle value is the direction of the color stops are like width values that mark where a transition takes place color stops um, and are given with a percentage or number of pixel color stops are like width values that mark where a transition takes place so first one is zero pixel second one is 40 pixel third 
Android is 40 pixel, Android is 80 pixel. Okay, so what's happening here? In the example demonstrated in the code editor, the gradient starts with the color yellow at 0 pixels, which blends into the second color blue at 40 pixel away from the start. Since the next color stop is also at 40 pixel, the gradient immediately changes to the third color. Since this next color stop is also at 40 pixels. Uh -huh. The gradient immediately changes to green, which itself blends into the four color value red, as that is 80 pixels away from the beginning of. Okay. For this example, it helps to think about the color steps as pairs where every two colors blend together. If every two color stops, stop values are the same color, the blending is not noticeable because it's between the same color followed by a hard transition to the next color. So you end up with stripes. Okay. Um, makes some sense to me, but not all of that. Make strips by changing the repeating color to use a credit angle of 45 degree. Then set the first two color stops to yellow and finally the second two color stops to black. Okay, it should be 45. And first two color stops to first two color stops to yellow. And finally, the second two color stops to black. Black. And yellow. Is that the second color stop at 40 pixels should be black. OK. This should be black. And the first two color stops to yellow. The last color stops at 80 pixels should be okay. I'm not getting this. Let's read this again. Uh, with angle value and color the angle value and the direction of gradient color stops are like width values that mark a mark where a transition takes place color stops are like width values that mark where a transition takes color stops are like takes place and are given with a percentage or a number of pixel in the example demonstrated in the code editor, the gradient starts with the color yellow at 0 pixels, which blends into the second color blue at 40 pixels away from the start. Yellow at 0 pixels, which blends into second color blue at 40 pixels away from the start since the next color stop is also at 40 pixel the gradient immediately changes to the third color green which itself blends into the fourth color yellow blend blue 40 pixel green blend red 80 pixel So now what the first two color stops to yellow. Mm -hmm. 45 degree the angle of repeating should no longer be 90 degree. The color stop at zero pixel should be yellow. One color stop at 80 should be yellow. 
the second color stop identity should be black and this should also be black okay honestly I didn't get uh, what we have just done about the repeating linear gradient but I think it's fine Create texture by adding a subtle pattern as a background image. Create texture by adding a subtle pattern as a background image. One way to add texture and interest to a background and have it stand out more is to add a subtle pattern. The key is balance and you don't want the background to stand out. Texture by adding a subtle as a background image. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. One way to add texture and interest to background and have it stand out more is to add a subtle pattern. The key is balance. You don't want the background to stand out too much and take away from the foreground. The background property should support the URL function in order to link to an image of the chosen texture or pattern. The link address is wrapped in quotes inside the parenthesis. Use the URL of this set the background of all page width body selector okay mm -hmm. okay this is a nice background all right move on to the next one and use the CSS transform scale property to change the size of an element. Transform to change size of an element. The cha to change the scale of an element, CSS has the transform property along with its scale function. The following code property doubles the size of all of the paragraph elements on the page. The following code example doubles the size of all paragraph elements on the page. Hmm. Okay. Of ball to 1.5 of its, its original size transform is 1.5 okay uh, yeah it is what is the problem okay guys so, uh, I'm stopping this video on 65% um, I agree that we should complete the 50% of it but this video is getting longer so that is why will continue with in the next video so yeah bye for now and thanks for competing with me